Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to the class once again. You all have been doing Japanese for a long time now here in the class. We, we are already through with 2022 lectures. So, I am sure now you are all very comfortable with the language. Whatever we have done, you have learnt and you remember it. All these past days, we have been doing nouns, we have done adjectives, how to use adjectives, how to use negative, how to use it in a negative form. We have also done verbs in mass form, mas, masen, mashta, masen deshta. So, well, today we are going to do verbs, something different in verbs. Why? Because we need verbs to make complicated sentences. We need verbs to say things in an easier way. But in Japanese, there is a system that you have to use must form in the end of a sentence. Always must form comes in the end. So, how will you make complicated sentences with mass form in the middle and mass form in the end. So, that does not happen. What happens is what we are going to do now a little later. But well, before that as I always do, we will just go over our assignments that I had given you last time and we will see you can check whether you have done them correctly or not. So, well, the first assignment is Look at the picture and tell what they are doing. This practice is for verbs. So, let us see what they are doing. Well, we can name each of them or we can just call them Tanaka san or any other name Rao san. So, Teribi o mimas. You can see. Then, Sandwichi o tabimas. Juice o nomimas. Nemas Hon o yomimas. And in the end, we have ongaku o kikimas. So, well, this was practice in present tense of verbs. Now, the second assignment is match the words in column A with words in column B. So, you have words written in hiragana and over here in Roman. You have to match these. This is important again as I have been telling you hiragana you have to learn to write and to read to be able to read the language. So, well let us see what it is. Ikimas, kaerimas. Hanashimas, Arimas, Savarimas, Nomimas, Hashirimas, Kaimas, Waraimas, and Yomimas. So, well, this was hiragana for you. You can practice the syllables here, they are given very clearly, written very clearly. You can look at them again and again and the stroke order is given in each lesson. So, you can go over the stroke order also and practice it. Now, the assignment 3 was look at the pictures and make sentences using adjectives and kara and give reason for doing the activity which you can see in the picture. So, well the first one is as you can see nomimas. So, what is the adjective you are going to give over here? Well, it is oishi kara nomimas. Miruku wa miruku. Miruku wa gyunyu wa oishi kara nomimas. It is very cold. 
寒いからどこへも行きません。ハンバーガー、ハンバーガー、おいしいから食べます。バラの花、バラ、バライズローズ、バラの花はきれいですから買います。なお、起きます。遅い。There is a different form that you have to use over here. I'll just give the form and maybe sometime later explain it to you. 遅くなりましたから、早く起きます。考えます。thinking 考えます。問題。難しい。難しいですから、考えます。暑い。it's very very hot。暑いですからシャワーを浴びます。コート、looks very nice。So what is the adjective? Let us see。安いから買います。So well, this was your assignment over here. Assignment three. We have assignment four as well. Fill in the blanks with proper verb forms. So you have the English clue over here. You have to use that and see what is going to come in the blank space. So well, mai nichi nani o shimasu ka? きのう、私、何も食べませんでした。みんなでご飯を作りましょう。Over here, you can also use か。If it was, shall we? Over here, it is just let's make. So, the person who is saying this, Is not asking for opinion. He is not asking. He is just deciding and saying, let us make. So that is why it is skuri masho. Well, the next one is Nichiobi ni kazoku to isho ni ega o mimashita. 来年、私は国へ帰ります。来月の3日に、先生のうちにパーティーがあります。友達は新しい車を買いました。食事を食べましょうか。Now over here you can see the ka is given, thus it is shall. So when you are asking, then shall is to be used. When you are deciding yourself, then ka is not going to be used and it will end at show with the verb. Then get siyobi wa. Yasumi deshita was a holiday. So I hope you all got it right. Well, the next assignment is look at the pictures below and fill in the blanks with verbs. So you have these pictures over here. I am sure it is very, very easy now. So, well, I will just do it very quickly. Tanaka san wa hachiji ni. Nemashita. He is fast asleep. Then Tanaka san to Rao san wa nijikan 
Hanashimashita. They talked for 2 hours. Then they are in a class over here. Sensei wa mainichi nihongo o oshiemas. Over here they are playing table tennis. So, Rao san wa pinpon no renshu o shimas. Then we have these people waiting here at the bus stop. Well, mina san wa bus te de bus o machimashita. Then the last one is you see some people crossing over at the zebra crossing at the crossing here kosaten. This is called a kosaten. A crossing is called a kosaten. So, well we have michi o watari mas. To cross over is watari mas. So, whenever you cross something, maybe it is a bridge, a river or a road like this, it is always vatarimas. So, you cross over, go over a certain thing, then it is vatarimas. Well, this assignment is for you to fill in the blanks with proper particles. We have been doing particles. As you know, we cannot complete a sentence without particles. We need particles to join words and make good sentences. So, well this is what we are to do over here. I will just read it out. Watashi wa brown desu. America jin desu. Ima nihon no kaisha ni hatarakimasu. Tokyo ni sumimasu. Sumimasu is to live. Uchi wa gokai desu. Heya no bango wa Go zero ni desu. Chisai desu. Ga watashi no uchi wa kirei desu. Yokohama wa kaisha kara toi desu. Kara watashi wa mainichi densha de kaisha e ikimasu. Densha de ichi jikan gurai kakarimasu. Demo watashi wa daijoubu desu. Kaisha ni shokudo ga arimasu. Shokudo ni iro iro na kuni no ryori ga arimasu. Watashi wa mainichi kaisha no shokudo de gohan o tabemasu. Toki toki oishi indo ryori mo tabemasu. So, I hope you got your particles right. Now, we have assignment 7 for you. Fill in the blanks with appropriate interrogative words, question words we want over here. So, well, let us see what we have in the first one. Nihonjin wa nande tabemasu ka? Nande is by what? Means. Hako no Mikan wa ikura desu ka? How much? Watashi tachi wa doko de densha ni norimasu ka? Where will we get into the train? Tomodachi no tanjoubi ni nani o agemasu ka? Agemasu is to give. Then, Kaigi shitsu wa nan kai desu ka? So, well you will see that nani and nan both mean what? Nani is to be used with things where places where you do not have numbers most of the time. So, well nan is for kai number of stories. So, that is how nan is being used. So, now you can see the difference between nan and Nani, where it is basically going to be used, meaning is exactly the same. Now, dare to picnic e ikimasu ka? Tanjoubi wa 
いつですか学校に学生は何人いますか And again, you will see, none is used with numbers. Nin is for people. How many people? Dono kaban wa anata no desu ka? And in the end, we have Nekutai wa doko desu ka? So, well, you have question words over here. You can see the difference in all of them over here, and you can practice. Now, match column A with column B. You have kanji characters here and meanings over here in Roman. So, ikimasu. Tsuki is moon. Nanin, how many? Hidarite, left hand. Suitachi. First of the month, kairimas is to return, mimas is to see, otona is an adult, kiyobi is Friday, and hitori is one person. Now, we have done these exercises, we have gone over them and I hope you have checked all of it and will not make the same mistakes again. Now, you have done senmon, you know how to tell about your senmon, you know how to tell about your hobbies, your shumi, you also know how to tell about your tanjobi, which is birthday. There is something very important which we need to do over here which you really require, it is very important when you fill forms and what is that? That is seinen gappi, which is your date of birth. So, that is what we are going to do over here today, seinen gappi wa nan desu ka? So, let us see. Tanaka san no seinen gappi wa nan desu ka? Watashi no seinen gappi wa sen kyuhyaku. 85年3月3日です。私も1985年です。何月ですか ?9 月です。So well, you can see over here very clearly how to ask for seinen gappi or your date of birth, someone's date of birth. But now the important part over here is Tanjobi wa itsu desu ka. Now this word itsu is when and you say seinen gappi wa nan desu ka. Please remember nan desu ka and not itsu desu ka. That is very, very important. Now, what is this actually? Sei means when you are born, your birth, then nen is year, gatsu or gap, gap is month, and then P over here is day. So, this stands for birth, year, month and date. So, in Japanese, you have the year first, the month and then the date. You have to keep that in mind. Now, how will you practice this? Well, for asking, you know, you can put in the end. So, a na ta no seinen gappi wa nan desu ka. Seinen gappi wa nan desu ka. Over here for anata as we have always been doing, you know a lot of vocabulary now. You can 
put whatever you want over here. Oto san sensei musume or any other vocabulary that you remember. Tanaka san no seinen gappi wa nan desu ka. Now, what is the answer? You can give whatever year. Nen Sangatsu, Shigatsu, Jugatsu, and Mika, Toka, Jugonichi, Hatsuka. You can give any of these dates and say this over here. So, Watashi no. Seinen gappi wa senkyu hyaku hachiju nananen sangatsu mikka desu. We have practiced date, we have practiced month, we have practiced our numbers here, we have practiced nen. So, I am sure you can all use this very freely and ask your friends about their seinen gappi. Now, You can practice over here. Watashi no seinen gappi wa sen kyuhyaku hachiju hachinen sangatsu juroku nichi desu. It is also given in the script over here. This means to be born, this is year, month, and day. Wa sen kyuhyaku hachiju hachinen sangatsu juroku nichi this. Over here as I just told you, you can practice it with whatever vocabulary you remember. You can replace watashi with any of these over here. Then your date of birth can be said like this. You can ask with ka. So, you can practice musume no seinen gappi wa sen kyuhyaku kyujunen gogatsu Kokonoka desu. Tomodachi no seinen gappi wa sen kyuhyaku hachiju rokunen nigatsu jugo nichi desu. So, you can practice like this. Also, look at these pictures and tell me what is the date of birth. You can name these people, could be Tanaka san. Tanaka san no seinen gappi wa nan desu ka? Tanaka san no seinen gappi wa sen kyuhyaku hachiju kyunen shigatsu ju gonichi desu. And this is how you can practice. Over here you have Tanaka san again, obachan is there. So, obachan no seinen gappi wa nan desu ka? It is given over here, you can say that out aloud. Then we have Mariko san probably, you can call her Mariko san. Mariko san no seinen gappi wa sen kyuhyaku nanaju ninen jugatsu ju ninichi desu. And this is Tomoko chan. So, Tomoko chan no seinen gappi wa nisen ninen sangatsu niju ichinichi desu. Well, this is how you can do your Seinen gappi, date of birth, it is extremely important because anytime you need to fill a form, that is the first thing that you have to do, fill in your name, write your name and then your seinen gappi. Now, as I told you and promised you earlier in the class, we are going to do verbs. We are going to do verbs in a different way today. Now, why we need to do them like this is, first and foremost in Japanese, unlike English, you can complete a sentence just using the verb. Just by using the verb, a single word, a single verb, the sentence is complete. For example, tabemas, mimas. Tabemas is to eat, mimas is to see. So, just by saying this, it is complete, it is understood. Tabemas, because most of the time the subject 
when you are talking topic of conversation or your subject is not said, it is left out, it is understood. So, just by saying tabemas, everything is understood that you want to eat or you are going to eat. So, that is one very important thing. Now, another important thing about Japanese is that you have done mass form. We have been doing in fact, mass form for quite some time now and you all understand mas, masen, mashita and masen deshita. Well, in Japanese mas form, verb in mas form always comes here in the end. You have a sentence and you have the verb in the end. Also, mas form can be used only once in a sentence which is in the end. You cannot use mas form over here, verb in mass form like this and then try to complete your sentence and put another mass form over here. That cannot be done. So, when you make complicated sentences, when you want to say use two verbs or three verbs in a sentence, what do you do? How will you use verbs? For that, we need verbs in their base form. We need verbs in their plain form or dictionary form as they are called and the dictionary form of the verb or the plain form of the verb is used in between or to make complicated sentences to be able to use make different uh, difficult sentences and then mass form is used in the end. So, that is what we are going to practice over here today. We are going to do plain form of verbs today in class. Now, as you as you already know the mass form, you know the verb, you just need to learn the plain form. From the plain form of the verb, all different conjugations are done and made. So, plain form is extremely important, extremely important for us to do the language to be able to speak in Japanese. Now, you have done mass form iki mas. Iki, please tell me, masen. Iki mashita in past tense. Watashi wa ikimasu. Watashi wa ikimasen. Kino watashi wa ikimashita. And iki masen deshita. In past negative. So, all these four forms, mas masen, mashita, and masen deshita, will have plain forms. Today, we will do plain form for ikimas which is iku and all the other verbs as well this will help you to make better sentences so let us see what we have over here well i just told you ikimas ikimasen ikimashita ikimasen deshita this you already know we have done it a number of times we have been making sentences. Well, you have another one here, suarimas, suarimasen, suarimashita, suarimasen deshita. Now, we have yomimas, yomimasen, yomimashita, yomimasen deshita. Tabemas, tabemasen. Tabemashita, tabemasen deshita. So, now if you remember, I did tell you in the beginning that verbs are divided into three categories in Japanese basic three divisions of verbs group 1, group 1, group 2, and group 3. So, we have verbs ending in 
I R U and E R U most of the time in group 2. When verbs in their dictionary form as I told you, in their plain form, in their base form end in I R U and E R U, they are in group 2. If they end in anything else, then they are in group 1 or all verbs ending in U are in group 1. There are a lot of exceptions in group 1, lot of exceptions are there. Then there are some verbs ending in I R U and E R U in group 1 also. We have only two verbs kuru meaning to come and suru to do in group 3 because they do not follow the normal pattern of group 1 and group 2. So, these, these are exceptions and thus they are in group 3. So, well for your practice I have listed a few verbs over here of group 1, though they are all jumbled all of them some are exceptions and some are not exceptions, but we will have them here in this pattern. So, that it is easy for you to understand, it is easy for you to memorize. In the previous slides that we saw, we did just now, you must have noticed that there are some verbs in group 1 and the last verb tabimas was in group 2. So, well here it is only group 1, let us try to practice that. You know the verb ikimas iku, kairimas kairu, aimas au, kaimas kau, nomimas nomu, yomimas yomu, hashirimas hashiru, hanashimas hanasu, kakimas kaku, kikimas kiku, arukimas aruku. So, these are some verbs of course, from now onwards we will also do the exceptions for group 1. I will explain them to you on and off in class, not all of them in one class because it is a little confusing and you may not be able to remember them. So, over a period of time we will try to do that and I am sure things will be all right. Now, practice verbs in plain form. There are lot of verbs listed over here with pictures you can practice. Yomu. Well, what is he doing? Writing. Kaku. Then we have cutting, which is kiru. This verb kiru is in group 1 also and in group 2 also. Group 1 is to cut, group 2 is to wear. Then hanasu, what is he doing? Having medicine, so nomu and in Japanese we drink our medicines, we do not eat our medicines. So, please remember in Japanese we always drink which is nomu. Then we have this lady who is pouring sugar cubes in the cup in her tea. So, well it is nomu. Now, there is more group 1 verbs for you. You have done this picture earlier, swimming, puru de o yogu. So, now the practice is for you to learn the verbs in 
plain form, in the base form, in the dictionary form, making something gohan o tsukuru, pulling the rope hiku, children are playing asobu, working or studying hataraku, studying is benkyo suru, to work is hataraku. Then meeting, greeting with a hi and what is that? Au, au is to meet. Well, we have verbs in group 2 as well. Let us see, miru, taberu, then we have someone sleeping over here, neru, what is he doing? Kangaeru, to think, this you have done, okiru, to get up and of course, what is this? Let us see. Osheru to teach, or as he is entering over here, well, it could also be Hairu, which is to enter. Now, we have some pictures for group 3 as well. Let us see. Someone is ringing up, calling up on phone. So, well, then wa osuru, having a party. Pati suru, then doing work on computer. So, benkyo suru, then cleaning up the whole place with a hoki, well, soji suru, and then they are enjoying a party or a picnic, picnic suru. So, well, these are all in group 3, special category where you have verb, verb and noun combination. This is a noun verb combination of verbs and as I told you earlier in group 3, we only have two verbs which are kuru and suru as I put it over here for you, kuru and suru, kimas and shimas. You have already done these verbs, kimas and shimas. Watashi wa mainichi shigoto o shimas. Watashi wa mainichi kras e kimas. So, these two verbs are in group 3 and this verb, this set of group 3 verbs that has been mentioned over here is in a special category which sometimes is also called the group 4 verbs, the noun verb category. Now, we have more verbs for you. What are they doing? Well, they are getting something, buying stuff in packets, getting it home. So, kai mono suru. Now, we have this gentleman entering the room, it is 9 o'clock, kras ni kuru. So, the students are already there, they are saying sensei ga class ni kimashita or kuru as is given over here in plain form. Also, sensei ga class ni Hairu, enter a class. Then we have these people playing over here again. Well, tennis no renshu o suru. So, with this verb suru, we have the noun over here, renshu o suru over here, and what do we have here? With the dog, he is going for a walk. So, sampo o suru. Sampo is to take a leisure walk. Well, sampo o suru, he is not doing brisk walking. Now, there is a small practice for you. What is this gentleman doing? Can you tell me? Look at the picture carefully and see what is he doing? Nimotsu o okuru. Well, he is going to send this nimotsu as package or luggage or baggage. Nimotsu o okuru. Okuru is to send. Or also you could say nimotsu o hakobu. Hakobu is to transfer something from one place to another.
Well, we have another picture for you. This gentleman over here, Tanaka san, you can call him, is relaxing, is happy. So, what is he doing? Uchi de yasumu is relaxing at home. Then you have this gentleman, Tanaka san, over here, asking this lady for some place or some building. So, well, what is he doing? Jusho o kiku. Jusho is a dress, jusho o kiku. So, this is how you can practice with all the other pictures also given over there. You can say it out aloud, ask your partner what they are doing and then probably answer in plain form. Now, Tanaka san wa juice o nomu. Tanaka san is going to have juice or is having juice. So, well for Tanaka san, you can replace it with sensei, oksan, tomodachi, imoto, I told you earlier also. And you can replace juice with jusho, tabemono, presento, fuku and nomu for any of these verbs over here. And I can just tell you this once. Well, oksan wa tabemono o okuru or okasan wa tabemono o okuru. Okasan is mother. Tomodachi wa presento o kau. Imoto wa fuku o arau. Sensei wa jusho o kiku. So, instead of kikimasu, you can use kiku, okurimasu, okuru, kaimasu, kau, araimasu, arau in plain form. Now, this is one expression we did last time. I hope you remember someone leaves the house in the morning bright sunshine over here in the morning. Well, Tanaka san is leaving his house. So, what will he say? What is the expression generally used in Japanese? Well, it is itte kimasu. Itte kimasu. And then the person who stays back at home, what does the person say? Well, please go and come. Itte irashai. I have already discussed this with you earlier, told you this is just a simple revision for you to remember your expressions. This is an important expression which generally you will use in Japan. Now, just the opposite of what we did just now in the previous slide. When you come back home, well, what do you say? What you say is, when the person who enters the house announces that I am back, I have returned. So, well, the word is tadaima, tadaima. And then you have the person at home saying okairina sai, okairina sai. So, well, nice you are back. So, well, as I always do, we will do kanji practice also and let us see what is the kanji that we have here. Hanasu, you have done the verb hanasu, I will just make it out, draw it out for you, make it, write it for you. It is a combination of two characters over here. This character means well, this is imas, and then we have this character over here, which joins this and makes it a single character, which is ha na su. You would like to know what this character is? Well, this is tongue. So, you talk with your tongue, and that is how you can remember this is a 13 stroke character. Let me see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11, 12 and 13. So, it is a 13 stroke character. Speak with your tongue which is to talk ha 
na su. Once again, very very quickly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13 to talk. Now, let us see what do we have next. As I told you, it is a 13 stroke character. Then we have yomu and you can see one character is similar over here. Now, I will make it once again for you over here. Let us see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. This you have done 1, ichi, ju, doyobi. Then we make something like this and yomu. So, once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, 8, 9, 10. This is longer, this is smaller. 11, 12, 13 and 14. It is a 14 stroke character meaning yomu to read. So, well let us see how many strokes are there. Yes, it has 14 strokes. You have hanasu over here. So, many strokes to it. You can make it, draw it at home, write it down properly as is given and practice. And as I just told you, we did the strokes for yomu. Well, I do not have it in the slide over there. You can do it like this. Like this, you can make it. It is a 14 stroke character. So, you can get the stroke order correctly from there. Well, now let us see what kanji we have for you here. You have done this word daigaku, dai and gaku. Dai, dai as in big and gaku like this, gaku as in place of learning. So, big place of learning will be a university. Now, dai you already know, this is how dai is to be made. Gaku is, this is kodomo, child and place where there are lot of lights, a roof, room with lights is somewhere you would sit and read or learn. Thus, it is place of learning, seat of learning, big place of learning would be dai gaku, which is a university as is given over here. You can see it is an 8 stroke character 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. It is an 8 stroke character. Well, let us see what we have next now. We have Higashi. You have done Tokyo. If you remember all of you, we have done this character in Tokyo. To Kyo. Tokyo. We have done this character over here, this one. This means east over here. I have this character for you, ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, nana and hachi. It is an 8 stroke character meaning higashi meaning east. Now, we have Gaku for you. You can see the stroke order over here and practice it. There is hiragana as I always do. Well, this is the ra series. You have these syllables over here. The stroke order is given. Please get it correctly and see the shape how it is made. 
draw it on a graph paper and you will be able to get it correctly. Ra Ri Ri has this longer it is similar to E, but this part is a little longer. Ri Ru Re and we have in the end Ro. Now, you have all of them on your screen for you. You can see how it is done, how proportionate they are and you can draw it on a graph sheet and see how it comes. Well, this vocabulary is for you, the vocabulary that we did here in the lesson. You can repeat after me, Jusho, Fuku, Kaimono, Hairu, Okuru, Morao, Ageru, Kangaeru, Miseru and you have the meanings over here and the hiragana given. Now, as I have been doing in some of our from our previous lessons, I try to give you a proverb which is very commonly used in Japan and today's proverb is something which we also do as children in school here in India also, I am sure other places as well. This is a common proverb, well you can see lot of squirrels here in this picture and they are trying to collect their food for the winter. Well, the proverb is chiri mo sumoreba yamato naru, chiri is lot of small, small things if you collect it, it becomes into a mountain. Even the smallest of things, the meaning is that if you work together, you can accomplish anything. If you work together, you can do wonders. Alone you may be very small, you may not have the strength or the stamina or the capability to do anything. But if you are united, if you stay together, you work as a team, then you can accomplish anything, you can do wonders. So, small squirrels all together, when they try to collect food, they can collect lots of food for the winter, when it is very, very cold and food is not available. Well, you can use it. Now, it is your time, your time begins, you can start your assignments. Now, you can start doing them right away. The assignments are match group A with group B and make good sentences. Then you have fill in the blanks with question words. You also have to write hiragana for the words given in this column then match the kanjis with words with the meanings in group B. Then as we did in our previous exercise, I want you to do particles over here, practice particles, write particles and of course, there is an audio exercise here, where you just need to listen to the audio and answer the questions given here. Senshi no nichiyobi ni watashi wa kaisha no tomodachi to issho ni pikinik ue kimashita. Watashi tachi wa eki no kaisatsukuchi no mai ni atsumarimashita. Pikinik no basho wa 
山の近くにありますから東京駅から京都まで電車で行きました京都駅からバスに乗り換えました私たちはピクニックの場所に11時ごろ着きましたそして1時間ぐらい相場の公園で休みました12時30分ごろレストランでおいしい昼ご飯を食べましたご飯の後、皆さんは山道を3キロぐらい歩きました山の写真も撮りました晩の10時ごろ家へ帰りました私たちのピクニックは楽しかったです And of course, answer the questions given here. Well, that's all for today for you. I think it's been very long, lot of new verbs, lot of new words. You have to do your senengapi, revise your、uh, numbers once again, your days of the week, date, month, verbs, and lot of other things, lot of new vocabulary for you. I'll finish over here today and let us meet tomorrow again. So, Mina san, koko de owarimas. Ashita mata aimasho. Oyasu minasai. Hai. Arigato gozaimasu.